can't say yes or no, and sitting down like I am, I can't even smoothly leave. Well, listen, Misha, as nice as I'd like to continue this conversation, I've got to go. I've, I've got to go do these 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 things over here with that 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 place. That, you know, um, these um uh yeah, I gotta go. What? Don't be silly, the one I like is you. What? A sow. Whoa. Ah oh, ha ha ha, really, Chan? Hmm. No, you're, you're kidding, right? You must like Shi Chan more. Masha, you jumped to conclusions too much. But wait, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please tell me I've not made a mistake and I'm going after Misha. You can't go after Misha, can you? I'm sure you can't. But you almost called her Shichan, so I'm right, right? Because you call her Shichan all the time. It got stuck in my head. Osmosing language is common, you know. Besides, it's one little slip up. And by your logic, you should like her more than me. And are you making fun of me or something? Oh, you're getting very defensive, aren't you, Hissa? You like her. Wahaha. Maybe. I'm hungry. Did you eat breakfast, Achan? No, just medicine. Hmm. Misha twirls her finger lazily in the air to keep her hands busy as she thinks. We should eat something then. Do you think they will be serving breakfast today? That's really the kind of thing a member of the student council should know. I can't say that though. I'm on the student council and I don't know exactly. It didn't seem like anyone was working in the kitchen when I entered the building, but I don't know for sure. Hey, Hachan, have you ever heard about those vending machines that you can get food from, like burgers, soup, and even pizza? I was about to say soap. Luckily, I didn't. Wouldn't it be great if we had some of those at our school? I don't know. I always thought those machines were kind of weird. Maybe there's a little man, like, sitting in the, in the middle of it. Just, like, you press the burger button, he has to fucking, like, cook up the patty and the bun and put it all together and shit, and then... Squeeze it through this little tiny hole, and there's your burger. You know? There's a slave in every one of those vending machines, and you don't know it. Imagine how cool it would be if we had machines like that at our school, Hachan. It would almost be like magic, wouldn't it? Hot food coming out of a vending machine, that's so amazing. I can never imagine that. Seeing one of those machines would be like a dream. Oh, now she's depressed. Hmm. We don't have machines like that in this whole town. Though, it's too early to even go into town. I won't be able to eat breakfast, Hachan. That's the most important meal of the day. Serving it up Gary's way. Even everyone says so. Ah, I want to eat. I'm pretty hungry, so maybe you could uh, spread your legs and then I can have a troll. Whoa! Whoa! We just went into some massive sexual innuendo there. Woo! That was that was rough. Sorry, Monsieur, I don't see you that way. I love you. You're really silly. If it bothers you so much, I'll buy you a soda. No, she wants food, bitch. Not a fucking soda. Don't be a dumbass. Monsieur puffs out her cheeks and puts on her serious face. Hachan, a soda is not breakfast. It's like water. Exactly, Monsieur. Now I'm on your side. It's not like water. It's a liquid. Water isn't food. Liquid can be food. Now, who's, now who sounds like Shizun, Misha? I want to say it. <laughs> Even her tone reminds me of Shizun's unblinking, matter-of-fact way of stating the ridiculous. If I did say that, though, I would be the one who more... Who, I would be the one who sounds like Shizun again. It's terrible. Her competitiveness is really rubbing off on me. Maybe she could rub one off on you, eh? Wait, no. I mean the other way... Oh, God. No, I mean the other way. You could rub one off on her. Yeah, okay, no, I'll just... I gave up on the joke, I'm sorry. Let's look for something to eat. Oh, now she's pissed off. Okay. <laughs> Mercia, why do you do this to me? Predictably, our search for food in an empty school building this early in the morning leads only to failure. Mm-mm-mm. 
Misha decides to go off on her own after we both decide to give up for now, vowing to eat breakfast even though by now it's closer to time for brunch. I go back to my dorm the following hours tick by and slowly as I pass the time catching up on my reading. Some of these books I haven't touched since I was in hospital. Thinking back on it, it wasn't that long ago, my god it's getting very dark. Even though it definitely feels like it was. A free day. I can't think of anything to do. I take a short nap, and as I change for the second time today, I realise that I never actually confirmed with Shizun or Misha when and where we would meet up. Oh my god. Buddy, you are so unorganised. I guess that eventually they would come looking for me, but I would look pretty stupid if they if it came to that. It's already evening, so I should at least make an effort to find them first. Oh, I can't wait to see Shizun and Misha in their Tanabatas. Wait, no, fuck. Not their Tanabatas. Their... God damn it, what's it called? Yakuda, y y Yukata, Yukata. At Tanabata. Okay, glad we cleared that up. Even though the grounds aren't exactly flooded with people, and it should be impossible to miss Misha's pink hair, even if they were, I have a lot of difficulty finding them. I wonder what Misha's hair would look like, um, down, and straightened. Hmm. It would look a hell of a lot better than with the drills. Finally, I run into them at the front gate, which was the first place I had looked. Whoa! Looking good, Chizun. Looking good. Much, much better. Hello. I was just admiring your, uh, your stature here. She attempts to punctuate her normal greeting with a grand little sweep at the end. Hello! Hello! Good afternoon. Whoa! Misha! Hachan, how are you? Misha, wow, you both look great, I have to say. Now you better say something like that, Hisao. You better say you both look fantastic. It's strange seeing them in Yukata though. Though I've been seeing Yukata in general all night. Shizun's is simple and tasteful, which seems obvious for her in retrospect. For all her grand flourishes and over-the-top behaviour, I think she would rather die than dress the part. What draws my eye is the hairpin she is wearing. A pearl flower that gleams softly in the moonlight. It looks pretty on her, but in a way it also feels out of place, as if too elaborate for a high school girl, or maybe just some for someone as secretly childish as Shizun. Maybe it was given to her by her grandmother. Usually, grandmothers have cool, cool shit like that, most of the time. Mrs. Yukata is about what I expected, so it actually fits a little too well. Paired with her bubblegum pink hair, she looks cute, but anachronistic. I really don't know what anachronistic means, but I seem to pronounce it well. You two look nice. Nice. That, that's all you're gonna give them. Just nice. That's fucking fucking You are not gonna get anywhere with that sort of line. Oh, you look nice. Hmm. Yeah. Here, give me a slap across the face for just calling you nice. You look fantastic. You look great. You look amazing. You look astounding. Blah 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 blah. Any one of those could have sufficed. But no. You look nice. Oh well, at least Mish is appreciative. Thanks, Achan. Yeah, see, Shizun's pissed off. Look at this. Achan, you're a little late. Oh no, okay, she's just late. We were waiting here for a while. Did you forget the time or the place? I don't think we actually agreed on a time or a place. Oh well, let's go, Achan. Misha dropping the line of discussion saves me what could potentially be a pretty embarrassing thing to own up to. Specifically that I had been looking for them at least an hour. Seeing Shizun and Misha looks, looking so cheerful, it's hard not to want to fall into the atmosphere and enjoy a nice night out. What bothers me is that I'm having some trouble reading Shizun's signing tonight. I haven't been to sign language class in almost a week, so I'm not surprised. I guess I have... I guess having a... <clears throat> Lost focus for a while, I'm slipping. It certainly wouldn't be the best, wouldn't be the first time. Hold on, where are you going? To town? Yes. That doesn't make any sense. We haven't even checked out what's going on on the grounds, unless you two decided to have fun while I wasn't looking. 
We're going to come back. We'll be working our way up. Ha 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 ha. Either way, Hachan, we have to walk into town and then back up if we want to see everything. So, this way after we're done, we'll be right at our dorms when we're tired. It works out perfectly. Actually, that's a really good idea. That, that's a great plan. This is admittedly logical. Shizun doesn't give me much time to argue anyway. Anyway, grabbing me by the arm and lightly trying to pull me along. Hey! Whoa, Misha. It's kind of, hey, this is kind of cool. I like this. The streets illuminated by only the light of the moon and low lanterns tinted with tissue paper put me at ease. No, seriously, I thought this was a kimono. I seriously thought all of this is a Am I wrong? Is that a different... Is that Chinese or something? And this is Japanese? Or I, I really don't know. What's a kimono, please? And don't say a dragon. Isn't that a Komodo? Is, is, fuck me. I swear it's one of these. Misha, you look kind of like... You're on E or something. You look a little far too happy to be. Now that we're in town, Shizun moves a bit more slowly in order to see the sights. So, I decide to walk more briskly in order to mess with her, but she quickly readjusts her own speed to match, letting out a soundless laugh before quickly signing to Misha with her offhand. This is cool. I like this. What do you want to do first, Achan? I, I swear, like, how, how the camera is angled right here, I'm either, like, I've either just fallen down, I'm either three foot tall, or I'm crawling. And considering being with these two, I wouldn't be surprised if I was crawling and they've got a dog leash on me. How about some games, if there are any? Well, I, I, I'm assuming quite a lot of these are games. Along here. I thought you didn't like games, a chair. I don't mind. For the second time today, I feel those slim fingers wrapping around mine. It feels like all this time I've been pulled along by Shizu's work. Occasionally, it's quite tiring, but I think that for the most part, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I hate it. It's just the quality of some people that drag others into their lives, like a storm. That word fits Shizu sometimes. I think, although I didn't want to tell Misha earlier today, I do like it. Hey, there we go. He finally admits it. Achan, you're going to win a doll for me too this time, right? You still thinking about that? Okay, oh well. Oh, you better now. You promised. Okay, so hang on. What, what's the game here? We've got an octopus with a bandana on, and it's like doing the duck thing. No, I, I, no, he lost me. I'm sorry. Time passes by faster than I thought it could as we run, run around trying to do as many fr frivolous things as possible. Snow cones! Hey Chan, do you want one? Misha runs towards the stand, not even wanting to hear my answer. Tough shit, you're getting one. They look delicious, I want one too. We'll play rock, paper, scissors to see who can pay for them all. Oh, or we could each pay for our own, that would be nice. Hey Chan, what flavour do you want? Ooh. Um, oh, no shit, I was actually thinking the blue one. The blue one, it's like, it's like, well, the one we've got here is like blueberry sort of, not blueberry, but like, actually it's more like a bubblegum, I'd say. Even though bubblegum would instinctively be like, I'm not just saying that because we um, talked about Mishes here as bubblegum pink. Blue is not, not a flavour. Yeah, well, fuck you. I don't know the goddamn flavour, alright? I knew that. Ordering something based on colour is childish. You're childish. What are you getting? Are you getting strawberry? Ha! Huh, it's such a childish flavour. Only children eat strawberry. You should get plain, the most mature flavour of all. Plain? Isn't that just fucking ice? I want to know where her personality comes from. I wonder if I would think that way if she hadn't been the first student I ended up having a conversation with on my first day here. It's entirely possible that I have missed the parts of her that keep drawing me in. If I didn't know that she could just that she couldn't hear me, 
and then she was so competitive and so focused with getting me to join the student council and so alternative, alternative, alternatively playful and sharp. Without these constant new faces, I keep my interest in her. I would have grown to like her so much. Wait, what? To keep my interest in her, would I have grown to like her so much? It's likely that I'm overthinking it. You are always overthinking things, you so. Aren't you going to make a wish? Shichan never makes wishes, Shichan. Oh really? Not even on New Year's? Why is it? Oh, Tanabata is Chinese New Year's maybe. Or just regular New Year's. My phone's right Oh, she's doing 10 two fingers and smiles. But why not? Oh, she's got a secret. I know. Hey Chan, you want me to tell you? No, oh, you did. Yeah, come on, Misha, that's mean. Hey, it's a secret. Look, she's all fucking like. No. Hassel, you. How dare you? Shizun alternates between his many forceful iterations of, of no she can think of. Wahahaha, I'll tell you later, okay? Actually, I feel tired. I think I'm going to go to bed. Oh, I see what she did here. Oh, these girls have a fucking plan. Misha was going to come into town with us, then she was going to pretend like she's really tired, and then she, me and Shizuna are alone together, and she's in her fucking yukata, and we're going to get it on, and have multiple orgasms tonight, and it's going to be a wonderful night. Tell. Really? It doesn't feel like that it's been that long. Time flies when you're having fun. This is true. But it has a chance. Maybe I can visit Yuko first, then go back? Or, I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. Have fun with Elm, you okay? We're going to go back to the school soon anyway, I'm sure. Well, looks like it's just me and you, Shizun. Misha doesn't want to hear it and leaves anyway. Shizun starts to wonder why just as soon as I do. But while I keep it in my head, she signs it, seeming to want to discuss the possible reason. After we're both done seeing all there is to see, I check the time and find that it is pretty late. My energy is starting to wear off and it's a miracle that I managed to have even this much too. Even Shizun is starting to look a bit tired. We make our way back to the grounds. Shizun seems disappointed when she sees the school building lit up and teeming with students. Something wrong? I wanted to go up to the roof, but now there are too many people. I'm tired, so it might be for the best. There are probably couples on the roof, since it's that kind of holiday. Then again, I wouldn't know. Is that how it really is? I've never really been to any festivals before coming here. Man, she looks fucking sad. I'm disappointed. I thought you said you wanted to see what the school was doing last. Like, saving the best for last. Now you're telling me you don't want to? Not even a little? I thought you would have more energy. I don't feel tired. It seems to spark her competitive spirit. There we go. Uh, you really know how to spark her up, don't you, Hassel? Get that spark plug going. That igniter. And Shizun immediately perks up. Although it's then that I realised I didn't have anywhere in mind to take her and I don't feel like going to the main building myself. Fortunately, the area behind the school is both deserted and impressive looking today. I'd never appreciated how sprawling and well kept it was until seeing it at night. It almost seems to go on forever in the moonlight. <clears throat> it's very pretty even though it's just a field. I thought, I'd thought earlier that she was too immature to pull off the old fashioned clothes she was wearing tonight, but right now she is quite beautiful in them. It makes me think back to that day, the other festival that I went to, that I went to with her. She had looked the same way then. I want to tell her that I like her, decisively in one go, but even thinking about it is just so awkward. And the more I like her, the more awkward and afraid I am of telling her how I feel. Even now, when I could do so if I wanted to, if I wanted without having to go th through another person. 
Not to mention, what if what happened last time happens again? If it does, I might not get off so easily with a month's long hospital stay. I don't want to even think about it. I try to shove the thoughts out of my mind any way possible. I try to dismiss them as unlikely fears. Still. The first time I had seen all of my pills, I had imagined them cascading before me, enough of them to choke me. I still think about it from time to time. I can't say that it's not a legitimate concern. Times like these are nice enough that I can forget it though. Ooh. Told you we'd have Shizun in a new light. The moonlight. My favourite thing about this school is that it's on top of a mountain. Is it because it's that much closer to the sky? Yes. I like it too, but more because of the fresh air. You're so competitive. Too competitive. If a whale bit you, you would just bite it back. That makes her laugh and she winks. Oh, winky face, that means she wants your dick. I, I thought, isn't that how it goes? You know, that, that's always been the case when a girl texts me and she gives me a winky face, that means she wants my dick. I mean, admittedly, they've never really followed up on that promise, but isn't that just, like, world rule? I thought, would that be so bad? Her smile is contagious. Yes. It's true. I'm terrible. A little. But if I can make people happy, I'm not entirely terrible, am I? Then it's okay. I have many examples in my defense. Maybe even this moment is a kind of a game to them. That's right. This is a romantic moment. I don't know if, if such a chance might come again. And I feel compelled to say something awkward and stupid. If I think about it too much, I doubt my hands will listen to me. Oh, here goes. Here goes. Whoa! Do you want to be my girlfriend? Oh! Imagine if she rejects you. Oh, this is going to be fucking horrible. Hold oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, oh now all these, my all these thoughts are coming through my mind. What if she rejects you? Uh, uh, oh, you've stumped her. Oh, she's so fucking like... I, 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 what, I, I, uh, uh, I, I, I've got to go do something. She does a Hanako. Hope that I signed it properly. No, it, I hope for you, Hassel, that you signed it incorrectly, and then you can be like, fuck, I mean, um, um, uh, do you want to, uh, I've got to go do this thing. Over there, with, uh... I feel nervous, as if I want to break into a run. Yet I'm rooted to the spot. I couldn't hear a thing just minutes ago, and now I'm picking up every little ambient noise. I really am nervous. I wonder if it shows. Oh, man. We've been standing here for quite some time, and she hasn't said a word. This is not good. Before, hours pass like seconds. Now the seconds pass like eons. Then I see Shizun's hands moving unsteadily before her, fumbling over each other, stopping halfway through each gesture. It's like she said, sign language gives you an opportunity to think your words through, and she is trying very hard to do that right now. A situation that doesn't know how to resp that she doesn't know how to respond to. It must be unthinkable. As stoic as Shizun tries to be, she can't hide her reddening cheeks as she's very cute and feminine like this. And it puts me at ease to know she is as nervous as I am. The thought is yet another way in which I've found myself complete, competing with her. Okay. Okay! Yay! Woo! Yay! Yay! Where's the fireworks? Now's the appropriate time for the fireworks. Fireworks, anyone? Fireworks. Fi fireworks. Please, can... Fire hey, guy in the back! Yeah, yeah, can, can we get some... Can we... Firework! What? Can we... Firework? No? You, oh, you've got... Oh, you've got none. Oh. That's a simple reply, but as soon as I think that, Shizun takes a step forward and embraces me. Oh, we don't even get to see the embrace. An unsure and careful embrace, as if I were made of eggshell, and as if she doesn't know how to hug someone. 
Although, to be honest, it's not a subject I'm familiar with either. Pugikata is cool and silky under my fingers, but I can also feel Shizune's warmth. I thought you were going to say something else there for a second. In the end, she thought this is the best possible gesture to show how she felt. New chapter? New chapter! Yeah! Whoa, what's happening there? What the... Sleight of hand! I'm not playing Call of Duty! Act 3. I'd say that was a pretty good act. Act 2. The following days pass uneventfully, and with surprising quickness, I find renewed motivation to learn sign language. It seems that I have a knack for learning signs, so it would be a waste not to do it, and falling behind would be even more unacceptable. Unacceptable! Summer break is coming up. Even though I figured that student council would work, see, work would see a drop off proportional to how lethargic my, uh, blah, 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 my classes are becoming. It doesn't happen that way. Every day I get swamped under increasingly meaningless work. Despite how much I want to, I don't have even a free second to talk to Shizune nowadays. Every time I look at her, her face is buried in some book of records or some stack of papers that need to be checked over in, tri in triplicate. Today, I woke up early to come to school before everyone else, hoping to catch Shizune. She has a habit of coming in the first thing in the morning, to be more punctual than all the other students. Unfortunately, I think I am earlier than her. Hearing the student council room door click close to my right tells me that this isn't the case. I guess I just got here, I guess I got here just behind her, and with that, before we see Shizune, I'm going to save it. Hope you guys enjoyed these parts, and I shall see you next part. Bye.